Hey guys, D Wall here, and I'm just going to cut right to the chase because we have some big, major news that just broke over the last 12 hours. And this is something that's going to completely change the face of Saints Row going forward. Now, if you haven't heard already, I'm gonna go ahead and just tell you now, we've got news over the last 12 hours that Volition is now answering to Gearbox software and not Deep Silver anymore. They're, they're done. Volition is now owned by Gearbox and they will oversee all of Volition's uh, things going forward. Now, what does that mean in the long run? What does that mean for the future of Saints Row? Basically, it's as clear cut as this because there's been a lot of misinformation going around. There's been a lot of fear mongering going around. There's been a lot of celebration going on. And I'll get to that in a minute. But from what that means, it basically means that there's no merger, there's no acquisition, there's no volitions not going out of business, the devs aren't getting fired or anything like that. It's basically that volition used to answer to deep silver but now they're answering to gearbox that's literally all it is that's literally what all of this is it's a collaboration it's them basically using gearbox's tools and management and everything to produce better content and in all honesty and in all honesty if you know deep silver's history with saints row and what they've done with the ip over the last few years and what they've done to cut content before it goes out and what the developers have had to cut and go through to just get the game out this might end up being better for all parties involved and from what i've heard from a source that i know uh, from a friend that I know that knows that to, speaks to the devs or at least two of them They are pretty excited about this change. They're pretty excited about the future. They're pretty excited about what is happening when it comes to this shift in development now gearbox and Volition and everyone they're still all owned by Embracer group and Embracer Group in their interim report for the second quarter said that their growth, they increased their net sales by 190% and that 35% organic growth, most of that came to the Saints Row game. So for people that said this game was going to be a flop, it was not a flop. It made its money for Embracer Group. The only thing that was not to their expectations was the feedback of the game, and that's understandable. As I said before, there's nothing wrong with criticism. There's nothing wrong with constructive criticism, and this game needed it. And the fact that they're still working on it, the fact that the devs have not gotten fired, that Volition is not merging with Gearbox and being absorbed into it, and there's no layoffs or anything like that says a lot and people took this article and have been churning and misconstruing everything for the last 12 hours about this they've literally gone and said oh this is so great volition sucks oh i'm glad they're going oh go woke get broke all that all that's kind of crap right and if you don't want to hear me rant for about a minute or two, then you need to click this video off right now because I need to just explain something right now. The fact that this game made money for Embracer Group says that this IP is still valuable to them. And the fact that they are moving it from Deep Silver to Gearbox might end up being a good thing because the devs now get a chance to embrace their own vision that they don't have to answer to a company that ended up cutting numerous things from most of their games for the last decade that they actually have freedom they could have the freedom to do what they want to do with this game or future games going forward and the fact that there are people on twitter the vocal minority on twitter that is that 
both praises the fact that they think Volition is dead, but then immediately goes, I hope Gearbox does the Central 2 patch. That is hypocritical, in my view. Because how can you embrace someone else's failure and yet ask for those same people that you wanted to fail to work on a patch for Saints Row 2? A game that people consider the greatest Saints Row game. For a game that people consider a masterpiece of a game. And let's be real, Saints Row 2 was a masterpiece. Saints Row 2 at its time for that era was one of the greatest games of all time and it's still the only thing that doesn't hold up is the graphics but everything else the story the characters everything that works but for you to celebrate and wish death on volition but then ask for those same developers and those same people and those same that same company to work on a patch is as asinine to me and I don't understand it. I don't understand why there are people out there that wish death on a company, but then want that same company to work on a patch because they want it, because you want it. Hell, I want it too, but I'm not sitting over here and wishing death on these developers and wishing death on them because there's, they made one game you don't like. And then they go on and they say, oh, well, Saints Row 4 wasn't that bad. But then those same people before the reboot came out were shitting all over Saints Row 4 and saying that game sucked and saying that this game this, this game that. And before this reboot was even a thing, they were the ones jumping on the Saints Row 4 sucks bandwagon. But then when they saw the reboot and they thought it's not what we want, then they went on the Saints Row 4 is great bandwagon. I don't deal with bandwagoners. And I hope that the community that I foster here doesn't do that either. We can sit here all day long and say that we don't know what's going to happen with this new Gearbox Volition thing. But I'm willing to have some hope that maybe that they don't have Deep Silver with a magnifying glass over every single little thing that they do anymore, that maybe things will get better. And the fact that they have went out and said that they are still working on this game says a lot. And if they can get more writers, if they can get more on the development team, if they can get more eyes on this, if they can get more people involved, then maybe this game or future games can be better. But they won't be better with hate. They won't get better with wishing companies dying. They don't get better by wishing that developers lose their jobs. And I know that nothing I say will change anything. I know that people are going to bring up the, oh, well, they said that they're, that we're terrorists. Oh, they, they said that the haters are going to hate me. Oh, this and that. I know what they've done. You think I'm stupid? I know the things that they said and done. Were they, were they right and wrong? That's not my place to judge. Were they justified in shooting back at the haters that they get almost a day on a daily basis maybe but i'm not sitting here and wishing that people lose their jobs i've been jobless i've been homeless i don't wish that upon my worst enemy and i'm not going to do it for volition i'm not going to do it for these developers i don't care what you say to me i don't care what evidence quote unquote you give me I'm not going to wish death upon them, and I'm not going to say that this is the death of Volition either, because so far from what I've read, it's not anywhere close to it. They just answered to someone else now. They still have all their developers. They still have Volition. Volition is still Volition. But people want to read up a just a little bit and not the facts. And that's where all of this misinformation is coming from. So that's my thoughts on this. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. I'm sorry for ranting, but again, like I said in my last video, when I get heated and I get passionate about something I love, then this is what goes down. And I just hope it doesn't turn people away. Because for all this talk about Volition being a support studio and, and all this other things, but yet the main head embracer group said that 
it's going to be a good maker money maker for them in the future and they made their money on saints row on this game and they're probably going to make more as the expansion pass and stuff happens get out of here with that volition's gonna die crap in my face i don't want to hear it anymore i know i'm going to in my comments section i know there's going to be people that dislike this video but the fact of the matter is i don't deal in hate and if that means i get a thousand less views than i would if i started shitting all over this game so be it if that means that i get 30 dislikes and the algorithm doesn't recommend you to my video, so be it. But I'm here to speak my mind. I'm here to say my piece. I'm here because I love Saints Row. I love Volition, regardless of what mistakes they make sometimes. And I'm here to make sure that this game gets better. And if any devs are watching me right now, I just wanna say, I'm not here to be to hate on you i'm not here to wish death on your company i'm not here to wish death on the game as much as people may want to cheer and jump for joy if i ever did but i hope that this is the start of something better for you i hope that this is the start of you guys getting more when it comes to input when it comes to feedback when it comes to actual developing this game and making it better because I want to see it get better and there are fans out there that don't want you to give up on Saints Row. Because we grew up with Saints Row, we grew up with this franchise, and we want to see it get better. Was this game the best reception wise? No, it wasn't. But does that mean it's dead? No. Does that mean it can get better? Absolutely. And I hope it does. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Like and share this video with your friends. Subscribe if you're not subscribed for more content. And I will see you guys in the next one. And if there's any more updates on this, I will let you guys know first thing. Talk to you guys later.